guy's no joke. That's just how he gets dressed to go to the store. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers The Last Night Voyager class, Nitro. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's right up front here. We have a very cool image there of Nitro. His name is Decepticon Nitro. Look, it's from a movie, Transformers. On the side of the box, we have that same image there of Nitro, and all you need to know about him is that he is a lethal hunter. That's all you need to know. All you need to know. On the side of the box, there's Transformers. He is a Voyager class, a class of Voyager, a class of Yahero, and a class A Voyager. That's so class A. On the top, nothing. On the bottom, words and things. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots, and that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have Nitro, and I honestly really, really, really dig this figure. I think he might be my favorite figure of this line, honestly. I, I, I really dig this guy, really cool. Um, so here he is in his jet mode, in a very nicely done jet mode. And we'll get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Uh, the whole nose cone section here is done in a nice matte black, which I really like. It just it looks very striking. I really like the look of that. And you got the cockpit done in a transclearant plastic. It has a little bit of a tint to it. And you can open up the cockpit here. And uh, what's funny is you can actually take a Titan Master. And you can put a Titan Master in here if you want to. And it does lock down and everything. And you can have a Titan Master flying in Nitro. Yeah. We'll talk a little bit more about Titan Masters in a little bit. <laughs> but you can totally put a Titan Master in him. And you got the wings here. And the whole toy is done in that kind of silverish plastic. You got the Decepticon symbols right there. Red stripes, more of that matte black, which again, I love the look of. And the tail fin, with that matte black on it. And the back, you got the rear thruster. The underside, you can kind of see how things are going to work out there. It does have a landing gear, which can flip up and flip down. And yeah, um, articulation-wise, uh, you can move these tail fins. Up and down, kind of angle this how you want. That's pretty much it. And I can, you know, wiggle side to side if that's for transformation. But yeah, there you have that. Now he does include two sets of missiles, which are painted white. And these just plug in underneath the wings right here. And you just plug that on and plug this on. And now they're plugged on. And there you go. Now he's got missiles under his wings. So there you go. Now, for comparison, here he is with a Voyager Megatron. So you can see how they look together. And Nitro is a little bit longer than Megs, but Megs does have the, uh, the larger wingspan there. So, there you have that. And just because Barricade is my homeboy, there he is with Barricade. So, there you go. <laughs> so, there you have that. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's, uh, first thing you want to do is you just want to remove the missiles. Take that out, put that off to the side. Take that off. We go, put that off to the side. And we will get started. Let me raise up a little bit here so I have some room to operate. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to take this tail fin here, just bring that down. You want to untab this whole section right here, which tabs on very securely. You got that tab that just goes right in there. You take this whole section and you bring that up and over like that. Once you've done that, you want to take the wings and untab them. So you just bring them up. You have this tab that goes in right here in this notch and you have this post that goes in right there. And that's all that locks in place. Once you do that, take this panel right here and bring that in. And come over to the other wing and just unlock that, bring that up, take that panel, bring that in, and there you go. Oh, flip up the uh, landing gear there. And now we'll come to the underside here and we will untab the legs. And the legs tab in right in here. This is the tab that goes into that slot right there at the bottom of the foot. And there is a locking point here, which you can see right there. You can see that. This section goes right into this little notch right here. On this side, this connection was super, 
super tight to where you could barely get that clipped in. If uh, yours has that problem, all you gotta do is just loosen that screw right there, and now everything just clips and unclips nice and easily, because that was problematic right out of the box. So just loosen that screw if that connection is a bit too tight. So take the leg and bring that down, and you just untab the other side, and bring the leg down. And once you've done that, I need to raise up a little bit more, because I still don't have enough room to operate. Jeez, man, I need operating room here. Operating room, anyway. So once you've done that, you take this arm right here, and that just swings down like that. And now you're gonna take this leg, you're gonna bring it out, and it's on a hinge right here, and you bring the leg up like that. And once you do that, you take the nose cone section here, and you just pull it out. You see there are two tabs right in there, just go into slots on either side here. And you take the arm, and you just bring it up like that. And this will just collapse in like that. And there is, you can see, this little tab right here is just gonna go into this little notch right here. It's just kind of a thooping point right there. That will just thoop in right there and that will hold the shoulder in place. So once you do that, you take that leg and you bring it back down. And at this point, you can now take the hips and bring them into the body and tab them in right there. Then you just rotate the leg to the forefront, flip the foot up, rotate the leg, flip the foot up, and you guys, legs all done. So there you go. So now we will continue on with the upper body. So now we'll work on the arms, and with this arm, you're just going to rotate it and just flip out his hand. And you come here and you extend that cannon, and you're all done with this arm. The second verse is not like the first, you got a totally different transformation here. You rotate that and what you're going to do with this whole nose cone section here is you're going to split it right down the middle like that. And these sections here are on a double hinge, so you're going to bring it up and over and it's going to sit just like that. So bring that up, over, and that's how you want all that oriented. And once you do that, you come to the underside here and you flip up these black pieces right there and there you have that and you got that arm all done and these little shoulder pads you can angle those however you wish now this whole assembly here with his head you just bring this panel down and this panel right here is on its own hinge so you bring that down and then you just push this down and that will lock itself in place right there then you rotate his head and you got that done. And now we have to work on his wings. Now this can be problematic. There's a trick to it. There is a trick to it. It takes a bit of finesse, but it's totally doable. The real issue is just these pieces right here. Um, these pieces you just untab right here. The problem with these pieces are if you pull them up a little too far, they pop right off. They pop off very, very easily. And if they, if you just go a little bit too far, they pop right out. I mean, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort. So what's gonna happen here is that this opening right here is going to go over this section right here. Now there's a trick to it. Like I said, it takes a bit of finesse, but it's totally doable without popping these off. And hopefully I can do it without popping these off. <laughs> so what you wanna do is you want to fold it at this hinge first. So you fold that in as far as it'll go, and you can see here, it's pretty much right where it needs to be. So now you can take this and fold it in at this point, and it will basically just kind of locate itself. It will go over that piece, and now you can just push that on, and there you go. And then you can flip the wing tip in, and that will sit in right there, and there you have that all done. So yeah, it takes a bit of finesse. It just It's just a specific way you have to do it. Um, now granted, they really should have just designed that better so this just doesn't you know pop off that easily, but it is what it is. But like I said, it's, it's totally doable without popping it off a million times. But you just take that and you bring that in at that hinge first, and then you take this and you swing that in like that. No, oh, come on, there you go. Then it just goes over like that, and then, boop, right there. And then you just flip in the wing tip, right there, like that. This one doesn't like to stay in, likes to kind of pop itself out. And there you have the backpack all done. And the final touch is you take little missiles here, and you have ports 
on the back of these sections and you just plug them on and plug them on and now they're plugged on and there you have Nitro in his robot mode and I love the look of this guy I think he looks freaking awesome I really dig his design really really do I love this guy love this guy so let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin there's that noggin very cool head sculpt just under that you know silverish plastic there with black got yellow there for the one eye Got the spikes going on there. And a lot of molded detail in here. You can see he has little, little Gatling guns on his shoulders, which is pretty cool. The Septic kind of symbol right there. A lot of molded detail here. And you do get some spots of uh, brown on his abdomen. And going down the legs, he's got just big knee pads. Like, all this is actually a knee pad. And you got some more spots of brown right there on his feet. He's got a lot of silver here on this arm, the arm with the uh, cannon on it, so that looks really nice. And the backpack, you can see it's just folded up wings, and you got the whole tail fin section here, you can you know, bring these back if you want or something, you can't really do anything with this, it's going to sit either to one side or the other, but you can maybe bring these back if you don't want them fanned out like that, totally up to you, as always, your toy, just play it however you wish. But, yeah, overall a very cool design, he has a number 13 there on that shoulder. <laughs> And yeah, very cool. I dig this guy. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. So you get so regular, waggly, waggly, waggly. You can look up. You can look down a little bit. You get full 360 degrees there of rotation. The arms cannot do a full 360. There is a stopping point right there. That's as far as it will go. And when you bring it back the other way, it stops right there. Um, you have outward movement like that. You do have a bicep swivel. You have... Slightly under 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Uh, no wrist swivel. You just have that transformation hinge right there if that does anything for you. Uh, nothing at the waist due to transformation. Legs can go forward. That far can go back. That far if you get around the tail fins there. Outward. Oops, that came untabbed. Outward. You can do the full splits. He does have a thigh swivel. He does have 90 degrees of bend at the knee in this section of the knee pad. Is also on a hinge, so you just kind of move that around if you want to. And the feet can move up a bit and move down a lot due to transformation. There's no ankle tilt. And again, these shoulder pads, you can just kind of angle those however you want. So there you go. But yeah, he looks really cool. I mean, he's armed to the teeth. I mean, you know, he's got a big cannon on this arm. He's got like this, like crossbow looking weapon on this arm he's got gatling guns on his shoulders uh, you can also take these sections here and kind of angle them up as big guns also if you want to hey why not it's a thing it's a thing you can do that's pretty cool you can also kind of you know angle these out a little bit if you want to as well and yeah so he's pretty pretty cool now one thing about this guy which is Kind of curious, I really wonder why this is a thing, but his head does come off. And his head is, it, this is a Titan Master connection right here. His head does not transform. This doesn't transform into a little robot or anything, it's just it's just the head. But it's on a Titan Master connection, and I don't know why. Uh, my only guess is maybe they're planning on using this body for a Titan's Return figure. So they figured, okay, we'll just work the gimmick into it. I... I don't know. I, I don't get it, but hey, if you want to, if you totally want to, why not? Dare I say why not? Hey, it's a toy. Play with it. You know, take, you know, take, a, take Meg's head here. There you go. There you go. Now he's Megatron. I don't know. <laughs> that actually works. That actually works. That actually looks pretty good. Wow. Eh. 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 That that actually works. See, that could be Movie Megatron right there. That, y y hey! Hey! Anyway. But, you know, you can do that if you want to. Get off. <laughs> we'll pop your head back on here. <laughs> so, 
there you go. So yeah, that's, that's just kind of a weird thing. But hey, we'll see what happens in the future. But there you have that. Uh, now for comparison, here he is with Voyager Megs. So you can see how they look together. There you have that. And just because Barricade is my homeboy, there he is with the Lux Barricade. So you can see how he scales there. <laughs> So there you go, and yeah, there you have Nitro, a very, very cool figure, in my opinion anyway. I, I love the look of this guy. I think he's really, really cool. The transformation's cool. The only fiddly part is just the wings here, but like I said, once once you know exactly how to do it, it's really not that big of a problem. Again, they could have designed that a bit better, so this isn't so problematic, but it's still doable without popping them off. You just need a little bit of finesse, but... um. Yeah, all in all, though, I love the look of this guy. I, I think he's my favorite figure of this line, honestly. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is the best figure of the line? Maybe? Hmm? I don't know. Eh? Eh? Maybe this guy is? I don't know. What do you think? You tell me. I don't know, but I really like this guy. So... <laughs> There you go, so if you would like this or any other Transformers movie toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Transformers movie toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers, the last the Night Voyager class Nitro, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, palm in your face! Nitro! Yeah, what is it? I have a mission for you. I need you to go on a burrito run. A burrito run? What? what? Does that involve killing stuff? Well, no. Just go pick me up some burritos. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't go on any mission unless it involves killing something. Well, I mean, I, I guess you could kill something on the way if you wanted to. All right, cool. Just don't kill the people who are making the burritos! I need them alive! You better still be listening to me! I'm scared now!